It was an intriguing day's cricket. Um, if we start at the top with the way that India bowled this morning, I think there were 16 or 17 runs in the first hour, and that epitomised the adjustment in length and line that India made mostly through Shami. And then Kane Williamson's resoluteness, I, I thought, was also a spectacle. You have to really be a connoisseur to appreciate it, and, and I really did that. It was, it was high-class cricket. It's that type of pitch where if you create enough pressure and invest in some good lengths and good consistency, at some point you get rewarded. So it's all the bowlers can continue doing. And going into to the last day, I suppose, the way we saw, what did we see? Eight wickets for New Zealand fall for 148 runs today. So yes, I still think there's something in the surface that if you're good enough, skillful enough, as we've seen today, as Shani did, you get rewarded. I think getting through that first half an hour, 45 minutes, if Vera Kohli bats for a long period of time, he scores quickly. He is that sort of player that scores at a quick rate. They can then, if they get to a point where they feel comfortable enough, maybe accelerate a little bit, look to push the, you know, look to push the game forward a bit more and give themselves more overs to try and bowl New Zealand out. I don't think they're going to put themselves in a position where New Zealand can win, but that's okay. If New Zealand can't win, then they've really got nothing to play for except for a draw, and that makes it slightly harder to bat. If New Zealand were given a chance, a small chance, they probably would throw their hand at it, I, I would imagine. They won't put themselves in a position again where they're going to lose, but they might promote it to Grandom, they might promote it to Jameson, and, and give them an opportunity if there was a small chance of winning. Neither team want to be in a position where they're going to lose this test match, though. If New Zealand come and strike early tomorrow in that first session, they could limit India to let's say 120, 130, 140, which they can chase without having to hustle. The only way I can see India winning this is if Kohli comes out, and it'll be going against the entire run rate of the match. Kohli comes out and he scores quickly, or Risha Pan takes control of an innings, and they score quickly, and then have their bowlers set upon New Zealand in maybe a session and a little bit. So that's possible but that's behind the other two options as it stands right now.